Microphone. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning to turn on my microphone before I start these lessons. It's so crazy that I forget every time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Happy Sunday to you. Uh, let me know which country you're watching from, how long you've been studying English. Let me know about you. I want to learn about you today. Um, I've had a few messages what you would like to learn in today's class. Um, so I'm going to answer as many as possible. But if you have a question, an English question, if you have any problems, how do you pronounce this? What does this word mean? How do you use this grammar? Let me know in the comments. If I don't ask, answer your comments or if you want to support the channel, you can use the super chat thing or you can join the channel as a member and get extra study materials and access to a study room. That is a place for serious English learners. The study materials there, um, which I made, and it's a nice, cool place to study. You can you can chat about English and learn together with other study buddies. It's, it's a pretty chill room. It's a pretty nice place. Okay, let's see. Ashley Chen in Taiwan, how you doing? Um, yesterday I watched uh, a food show about Taipei, and the food looked amazing. I don't like seafood. However, in the show they had uh, tiny, tiny crabs. They deep fried tiny, tiny crabs and just ate them. I forgot what with. It was just a crab, though, like a tiny crab. That was it. Have you eaten that before? Um, I don't think it was in Taipei. It was like, in another city, I think. Anyway, Taiwan's an amazing country. I love that place. I, I can't wait to go back. I want to eat all of your food. Taiwan, I'm coming to your country and I'm eating all of your food. That's a warning. Um, Fabiani from Brazil. Bom dia in Brazil. Hope you're doing well. Um... You had a huge election last weekend. Crazy stuff, no? <laughs> yeah. Um, very happy that Bolsonaro is out. Um, this is not an endorsement for Lula. I don't love Lula. Yeah, I know he's probably a dick too. But I think objectively he's better than the other guy. So congratulations, Brazil. Um, Bertrand from France. Bonjour. How are your chocolatines today? Are you eating some delicious chocolatines? Are they just croissants with chocolate? I'm not sure. Anywho, um, some of your questions were really good. Some of you asked for inversion grammar. That is um, like, not only do I blah, blah, blah. Um, I have two videos on inversion. So when you have a question about English, in YouTube, type in the search, Papa teach me, name of lesson. You'll probably find it. I have two lessons on inversion, so you'll find it, don't worry. Um, hi from Kharkiv. Slava Ukraini. Hopefully you're staying safe and everything's good there. Um, Crazy stuff here. I don't love Lula too. Yeah, the, honestly, it's weird when people say I love this politician. Like, why? <laughs> Whether it's Bolsonaro or Lula or d any president or politician, why do you like them? They are not there to be liked, you know? Like, they all suck. It, there's a special type of person who wants to be a politician, and usually they're not cool. So... Let's all just chill with uh, being a fan of politicians. They're like the worst people. Hi from Korea. Annyeong haseyo. I knew, I knew it. I knew that I knew it. Um, yeah. Lula is a great man. Cool. I hope he is. Nothing more needs to be said. Like, just don't, you don't need to buy a t-shirt politicians that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying yeah um i need your advice about watching english movies if it will help to develop my speaking level um or will it just waste my time no it's good so 
one thing to remember is listening to English is a good way to practice speaking. The same way reading English practices your writing and your speaking. But yeah, just because it's a passive skill doesn't mean it doesn't help active skills. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, advice for tech preparing IELTS exam. Know your enemy. The IELTS exam is your enemy and you need to know it better than your best friend. The best way is look at past uh, IELTS exam papers. You can find them online. There's so many. Um, yeah. Just do them. Do at least three past IELTS papers. The first one, don't study for it. First one, just do it. Just see what your... Um, treat it like a science experiment. That will be your control, right? So you have your first practice exam. Try that. See what your score is. From there, you can only get better. That's the idea. So keep that in mind. Then um, recognize what you need to study, what you need to improve on. Go away. Practice those skills. Come back. Try again. You see some improvement? Do the same thing again. Yeah. Also, please hit the like button of this video. It helps other people see it. Share it with your friends. We want to get lots of people watching. That's the idea. Um, do you prefer watching English movies with subtitles or without? That's a great question for everyone. Um, I watch anime dubbed. I have to disagree with that. I, I used to, um, but now I watch my anime the way it was made. In the original language. Um, Okie doke. So some of your questions, like inversions, that was good. Uh, phrasal verbs, we could look at that too. Um, contractions is a very good one. Um, I'm reading my Instagram replies. That's If you want to suggest a topic for a future English and Chill, follow me on Instagram at Papa Teach Me. And... Yeah, just reply to my stories. I always put the stories before these um, to see what you guys want to learn. Okay. Um, okay, as most of us love English, and English is the most dominant language in most countries, I've got a question. Which language do Brits go crazy for learning? So which language is popular for us to learn? Um, in school, we learn French, Spanish, German. Those are the most common, which also makes it less popular. Like, we usually prefer to learn more fun languages, you know? Like, um, some kids in school were learning like Russian or Japanese. Um, French became too boring because it's just there and everyone studies French you know we want to be different yeah good morning how you doing how you doing I'm Kevin Hawthorne good morning mm. yeah so also talking about contractions I want you to um, improve your speaking today I want you to be more aware of your contractions. So very often with my students, um, one thing that I always hear, and it sounds kind of unnatural, is something like this. So let's say... Um, You'll say something like this. I did not go to the gym today. Something like that. Now, grammatically, of course, that's fine. However, 
in spoken English, you want to sound more natural, right? You want to sound more relaxed. So remember that in English, it's always better. Why are you not letting me choose that color? Let me choose that color, please. Thank you. It's always more natural to use the contractions. When you say, I did not go to the gym, it sounds like one of two things. One, robot. I did not go to the gym today. Robot, right? Two, it could sound aggressive or very, very strong. Sometimes you need that, but in conversation, you don't want to sound strong, right? So use the contraction. And I'll show you the difference. I didn't go to the gym today. Natural, right? Casual. However, I did not go to the gym today. See, there's a difference in how you say it. If you use the contraction, it sounds more natural, it sounds more casual. If you don't, it sounds more aggressive or stronger. So keep that in mind. Mm. Yeah. Selamat malam from Indonesia. Hey in Indonesia, selamat malam to you. Uh, I'm from Taiwan, happy to see this channel. This channel is happy to see you in Taiwan. Um, you have great food. I was saying earlier, you have very, very nice food. Yeah. Oh, I mean, IELTS for those whose mother language is English and still struggles with it. Why are you taking IELTS if you're... If your native language is English, why would you take IELTS? I'm not really sure what you mean. Um... I mean, okay, so on the IELTS thing, I used to teach IELTS in class every day. Like now I do, but not every day. And when I did it every day, I gave my students a, a practice test. So if my students did the test, I did the test. So <laughs> yeah, even for me, it, it's tough. Not because of the difficulty, but because of the focus. Like, you need to be so focused for, like, how long? Two? Three hours? Something like that? So, yeah, it's the focus that's the difficult thing, not the difficulty level. Yeah. Um, Tuka Cipriani, how do you use on to? Okay, okay, we can do that. How do you use on to? As opposed to what, Tuka? Do you mean... Okay. Okay, I need you to help me with this one. Give me an object. Any object. Any object. Hello from Colombia. Hola in Colombia. Which city in Colombia? Okay, a car, an apple, a table. Okay. Okay. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. I like those. I like those. Um, I like when you say I'm an English person and an English teacher, so I win. I do. I do. This is true. It means I win any argument. It doesn't matter what the argument is. I win. Could you make more lives so entertaining and beneficial? I'm trying to do them on TikTok as well, but TikTok is just a stupid app. I hate it so much. Like, it doesn't let me do this on TikTok. Very annoying. Um, a booger. I can... <laughs> Actually, yeah, I like that one. I'm going to use that one. Um, 
How do we draw this? God, I draw like a baby. Um, he looks like he's doing that childish thing, like where you only have a t-shirt on and then like nothing underneath. <laughs> Did you used to do that as a kid? To run around with everything hanging out? Would be nice to see you on TikTok. I'd love to do it on TikTok, but I can't because TikTok's stupid. Yeah, so a booger. Um, I can't remember who... I can't remember who suggested this, but I like it. Okay, now on is the preposition we use to show the location of something. This exists there. It is on your shirt, on the table, okay? But Okay. You have options, actually. That, okay. Yeah. I'll show you. Make it quick. There we go. Put it. Yeah, so I said on is that preposition to show the location of something. We could also to show the movement of something from a booger on your hand to a booger on someone's shirt, right? You could say, did you put it on my shirt or onto? So I think, was it Tuka? Tuka Cipriani, right? Yeah, um, you asked how to use onto. Basically, basically, when you put onto, into, you're showing movement of um, location. So you could say, there's a burger on my finger right now. That's the location. But if you move it, you put it onto someone's shirt. Now, yes, that is not the only option. You could just say um, you put it on someone's shirt and that's fine. Totally fine. Where is my phone? In my hand. By the way, do you like my back thing? Um, those of you who know, no. My phone is in my hand, but if I... Come on, there, there. I putting it onto the table. Again, I can also say I'm putting it on the table. But onto, into, they are movement of location, right? You have your contact lenses, put them into your eye. Again, or in your eye, that's fine too. Um, with onto and into, you need an object. For example, um, I, I can say, I'm putting my contact lenses in my eye. I'm putting my contact lenses into my eye. I can't say, I'm putting my contact lenses into. No, 
into what? You need the object. That's with onto and into. Um, in, you don't need an object. I'm putting my lenses in. Don't need an object. Um, the other way we could, there's another, there's a few meanings of onto actually. Um, so in this case, this guy suspects her, right? I think this is Maria. It's always Maria, right? It's always Maria. He suspects her. When you suspect someone, they are doing something bad, you could say, Wait, no. No, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm I think I'm teaching you bad things. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, those are two separate. That's not together. I almost taught you something wrong. Won't do it again. Also, that's part of it. To be onto someone means There goes my camera. There we go. We're back. When you are onto someone, it means you know what they are doing, and that thing is bad. Hmm. I'm on to you. You think I don't know what you're doing? I'm on to you. Be on to. So, Tuka, long explanation, but that's basically what it means. Hmm. Okay, your examples then. Flora Takuna. The boxes were loaded onto the van. Yes, absolutely correct. Well done. Really, really good. Um, how about paste the sticker in the basket onto the mirror? Perfect example. Really, really good. Um, onto indicates movement. Exactly that. Natasha, how you doing, buddy? Natasha is a family member of the channel. You see she's in green, it's because she's cool. You can join the channel as a member. Uh, under this video, there's a join button. You can be cool too. New loggers, Chala, how you doing bud? What do you think about the following changes on Twitter? For example, the accounts that have a blue tick will be charged for $8 per month. It's stupid, it's so stupid. The whole point of, I'm not verified, so I don't care. I don't use Twitter, but. <laughs> I thought the point of being verified was to say there are fake accounts of me. I have a blue tick, so this is how you know I'm not a fake account, right? But if you can just pay. And I think a lot of people on Twitter now are changing their name to Elon Musk using his profile picture. I think it's so funny because it's proving the point of that's so stupid. I miss the we're going to Mars, Elon Musk. The, the today Elon Musk is like, there's something wrong up there. Hello from Ukraine, I'm a little late. You're not, you're right on time. But our clock's changed. Um, Monday, I think. Yeah, our clock's changed. We went back one hour. So the time's a little off today. Hey, Harry Anderson, how you doing? How to make compliments without sounding weird? <laughs> um, that's a great question. I like that one. Um, also, you don't make compliments. You give compliments. Keep that in mind. Uh, so how do you give compliments without sounding weird? That's a great question. Um, usually, I would... I don't know. What do I usually compliment people on? I think if you compliment someone on something you're genuinely interested in, it's never going to be weird. Like, I don't know. If you really love trainers, lots of people do. It's like, oh, you wear those trainers. They're amazing. They're so cool. I love those. Or, I don't know, you wear your hair in an interesting style and you're really into hair. I don't know. I'm weird. I, I'm not the best person to ask about that one. Especially to people who 
are not close friends, so not relatives, but you want to say something nice to make them feel good. Um, I mean, often, I'll tell people if I like their style, like if, if someone's wearing unique clothes or um, unique makeup, like do, I love your style because it's showing confidence and someone expressing themselves. I think that's very cool. And, you know, I think we all try to do something to be liked in some way. And if you acknowledge someone's effort, I think that's the key, isn't it? I might be wrong. Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong. But I think if you acknowledge someone's effort, that no, no one will be angry at that, I think. Yeah. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. If you have any good comments, uh, compliments that don't sound weird, let me know. Uh, Wooty, I'm on to my boyfriend. I think he's cheating on me. Wooty, you're always here with the drama and I am here for it. Love this drama. What I don't love, if this is real, then sorry, this is happening to you. But... Yeah, so I, that was a long answer, but I think that's I think that's my answer. When you acknowledge someone's um, effort to be liked or um, something they enjoy, yeah, I, I don't see any problems with that. I think so. Uh, I. Oh, okay. So this was a very interesting conversation. I think you're a wonderful woman. I would like to meet you again in a polite British way. Huh. That, well, that sounds like a date. If that's not a date, they want to date you. Um, but if it is a date, I mean, that sounds good. I think that, that does sound polite. Uh, yeah. Again, if it's a date, it's good. Um, okay, Laura, how can I use perhaps? Great question. Love that. Um, perhaps. Uh, hmm. Okay, let me choose someone. I want to draw someone. Do you do gym or squat, if I may ask? Do I squat? Uh, no. I hate, I hate squatting. Oh, wait, did I? No. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I did not go to the gym today. That's my answer to you. I'm trying to be better, though. I think we're all trying to be a little bit better <laughs> every day. John's here. How you doing, John? Good afternoon. Dates are good. Yes, mm, indeed. Dates are very, very good. Uh, yeah, would you? So is that real then? Are you actually uh, on to your boyfriend? Is is he? Do you think he's actually cheating on you? We, we, we'll help you, bud. We'll help you through this crisis. There we go. Um, so, oh, yeah. How to use perhaps. So how to use perhaps. So basically, 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 perhaps just means maybe. Um, let me give you a few examples. Perhaps you would like some examples. Perhaps I can help. So again, perhaps just means maybe. Perhaps I can help. Maybe I can help. Same thing, basically. Um, perhaps isn't used as commonly as may as maybe. Maybe is more common. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, how to wish someone's birthday? Happy birthday. That's it. You don't need any more. Just happy birthday. 
Hideki, how you doing, Hideki? Um, I was studying and got notified of your YouTube live. How's it going? It's going good, bud. I've been a great day. Oh, I have a coffee and I didn't even drink any. Thanks for reminding me, Hideki. I know you didn't remind me of coffee, but I appreciate you for being here. Mm. Mm. Do you guys like, what milk do you like in your coffees? I've got oat milk today and it's really, really good. Big fan of oat milk. Um, oh, Witty says, in reality, I've never been in a relationship. I don't even know what love is. Quite naive in that thing. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. Please don't copyright me. Because I'm that good a singer. Like, just don't block me. Um, Never been in a relationship. Don't, I mean, you're not missing much. Just have you time, you know? You get to play video games whenever you want. You, you're doing great. Uh, what's going on, bud? Alden, how you doing? I'm doing good. So yes, uh, perhaps, let's give a few examples. Okay, what ye? This one's for you, buddy. Let's say this guy is saying to you, what ye? Beautiful singing. You should go on. F <laughs> nice. Okay, this guy is just being very, very cute. He's saying, I like you. Do you like me? I like you. Do you like me? And she is being very subtle. She doesn't want to say yeah or no. She wants to give him a clue, give him a hint. So she could, again, the same way as maybe, she could just say hmm. Perhaps. So you see, in reality, not much difference at all from maybe. Perhaps, maybe, kind of the same thing. Um, in a full sentence, is there any difference? Let's find out. Let's find out. Okay, so um, let's open this sentence up again. Uh... Well, okay, we've got one example there. So at the beginning of a sentence, nope, works the same. No, I'll still use maybe. Uh... There's that song, isn't there? Um... Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me perhaps... It doesn't sound as good, but it, <laughs> it definitely works. It definitely works. Yeah. Okay, Hideki says, oh, perhaps I'd rather leave the chat and crack on with my studies. Nice. Great example. Yeah. Speak of the devil. I just had my coffee. Hope you enjoy your coffee, Hideki. Yeah, so I think mm, this covers it. Basically, perhaps, maybe, they work the same, they mean the same. Perhaps, because it's not as common, it therefore sounds a bit more formal. Pretty much the only difference there. Um, okay, let's do one more question and then we have to stop it. Um, Leah, I think you're really adorable. I think I'm really adorable too. Right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't have that opinion of myself. Don't worry. Um, Christina says, I might call you or maybe I call... Oh, okay. 
Oh, that's a really good point there. Um, perhaps... Can we have... Perhaps I'll... No, yeah. Exactly the same as maybe. I wasn't really sure, but yeah, no. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Natasha says, I may be there tonight. Nice. Really good. Maybe can be split. Oh, I see what you mean. The word can be split. That's true. That's true. Um... What's the difference between excuse me and pardon, or are they the same? Great question. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who asked that? Um, Sentai Super. Sentai Super. It's always good to see you in the chat, Sentai Super. What's your real name? Because I always see you in the chat, and I appreciate you. Because the sip of my coffee is to you. Um, What was it again? Pardon and excuse me, right? So let's do two different colors. Pardon. And excuse me. There is a little difference with these two, though. Um, there's one way we could use pardon and excuse in the same way. It's like, sorry for blah, blah, blah. And please forgive what I did wrong. So... Um, remember this uh, example from earlier? green there we are so we could use that whole thing that example from earlier um so we could say pardon or excuse my wiping uh a but so to wipe means to do this not in like a to a cat or a dog but when you mm, that thing. That's to wipe. By wiping a booger. Oops. On you. So when you use pardon or excuse, you need um, the possessive, my. And then the verb has ing. Pardon my wiping a booger on you. It sounds very formal to say this, but it's good. It's fine. It works. Also, um, if you want to try your own version, your own thing of this, let me know in the comments. I'll read the good ones. I'm loving your shirt, Ali. I bought the same one yesterday. What, this one? The red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. I hope you did. Yeah, um, so yeah, that just means forgive me for doing this thing. Pardon my wiping a burger on you. Excuse my wiping a burger on you. You could also, if you arrive late to a party, this is your test in the chat, write the correct excuse or pardon. You arrive late to a party and you want to say sorry for that. Use excuse or pardon. Remember, you arrived late. How can you say, sorry, please forgive me with either pardon or excuse? Write it in the chat. I'll read the correct one. Adib, hello there. Hello, Adib. Um, oh, Flora said, excuse me for being antisocial. Yes, absolutely. You could say, um, excuse me 
or wiping a burger on you. That's totally fine too. Um, if you just use excuse or pardon, you need the my. Excuse my, pardon my, pardon his, excuse his, verb ing. So that's another option. Natasha! You've been a member for 19 months. So cool. Nat Natasha, do you use the Discord, the study room, by the way? I haven't seen your name in there. Well, I think you had problems connecting it, right? Um, on YouTube, you have to connect it in the Discord app. That's how you join the study room and get access to all the PDFs and everything. Um, nice. Okay, Woody says, excuse me for arriving late. That's great. That's great. Can you use the other way? Um, also, how about excuse you? Yes, if someone burps in front of you and you are, I don't know, offended or you don't like what they did, they didn't say excuse me you can say it like um excuse you like they did something they didn't say sorry for it so you remind them with excuse you but that's a great one um i beg your pardon ellie nice great sentence natasha really good one Okay, Anton is very, very close. Excuse for being late. Close, but not not exactly there. Uh, Woody had it right. Excuse me for being late. That's great. Um, there we go. Flora Sakona. Excuse my lateness. Notice that... Ex whoops, not that one. Here we go. My lateness... Great, great one. So in this case, Flora used the my with a noun. So we've got the option. If it's a verb, ing. If it's a noun, that's fine. Don't need to change it. That's great. Um, excuse my lateness. That's great. Um, Ella Garcia also got that really good. Well done. Hideki, why are you still here? I thought you, like, needed to study. But I appreciate you being here, but, like, I don't want to get you in trouble with your teacher. Blimey, it dawned on me that I have no data package tonight. I guess I'll have to leave. I beg your pardon. Man, go, go study. Be a good student. I know you're studying with me, but... Sounds like you have, like, university work or, or school school work. Yeah. Um, Unabi, how you, how you doing, Unabi? Um, when should we use my bad or too bad? I'll come back to that one, I think. Miriam Gonzalez, excuse my late arrival. Great one. Again, that's a noun, and that's great. Um, Natasha says, sorry for being old fashioned. You're great. You're not old fashioned, you're just very, very cool. That's it. Um, Leah, you're so, so close. Leah Godi Godilo, Godil Godillo, excuse me of coming late. No, you, um, you're very, very close though. You could say, excuse my, um, I don't know, arriving late. If you want to use the verb form, that's okay. That's fine, um, but you don't need it. You could just use uh, excuse my lateness. That's good. Hmm. Really good. Um, of being late? No. Excuse me, of being late? No. Excuse me for being late. Yeah, really good. Emmanuel, I beg your pardon for my arriving late. Whoa. And notice that sounds very formal. If you said that to me, I'd be like, man, don't worry. That was a great apology. That was great. Really, really good, Emmanuel. You're a legend. Go get some ice cream today. You're a legend and you deserve it. Um, nice. Okay. Um, Oksana says, excuse my ignorance. Perfect. 
Perfect. Well done. Really good. Yeah. With a noun. Great example. Okie dokie. So, thank you for watching. I'll be back next Sunday, same time, same place. I hope you have a lovely rest of your Sunday, lovely rest of your weekend, and lovely rest of your week. Also, in December, I'm doing one video every day. Every day. Have you asked the chat how they feel about fireworks? No, I haven't. How do you feel about fireworks? Um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions, any requests for a video for December, doing one video every day. Uh, so let me know. You can message me on uh, Instagram, at Papa Teach Me. You can, where else can you get me? TikTok, here, in the comments. You'll find me. So, or, or join my Discord. The link is in the description of this. So have a great week. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.